everyone, welcome to a new episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm Ben Hansen, uh, replacing Jeff Quark just this one time. Just this one time only. It'll never happen again. Uh, don't look for any videos coming up on Monday. Uh, we also have Leo Vader here. Thank you. Holding down the fort, and we have Brian Shea. Hey! What a lovely man, and what a lovely day to check out a new Pokemon game. Yeah! It's new in quotes. Brand new. Never before seen. This is Brian Shea's save, showing off Pokemon Let's Go Eevee in particular. Let's go, Eevee. And where are we going here, Brian Shea? We are going to the Go Park. What is the Go Park? Because I've played Pokemon Yellow several times, and this is a bunch of nonsense in my mind. <laughs> so you know the Safari Zone that you probably love a lot from... It's one of the most... In it's probably the most interesting thing in the original generation. Well, it's gone. Uh, we have Thank God. Go yeah. Park instead. Uh, so this integrates with Pokemon Go. You can yes. hear the Pokemon Go <laughs> music right now. This is a slap in the face. This is oh, I a thought you were going to say slam dunk. <laughs> This is a slap in the dunk. <laughs> what are they doing? Why would they replace so, the interesting thing with a Pokemon Go feature? I am disappointed by it as well. I wish that the Pokemon Go section was a little bit different. But and Brian Shea, you're the biggest Pokemon Go fan in the world. I Yeah. To hear you say that really says something. So once you transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go, like it's only Gen 1 Pokemon, you can run around. You can have up to 50 Pokemon, so it's not going to be this sparse. I have to find the ones I've transferred here. Oh, and what do we have here? What is that there? Oh, hey! Uh, another affront to God in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Meltan. It is hey. the only non Gen 1 Pokemon, Meltan, the new one. I've never noticed his little tail before. It's like just like an exposed yeah, it's wire. Weird. So once you encounter them in this, which kind of acts like Safari Zone for the Pokemon you transferred here, yeah. you uh, have to catch them like this, but it, you don't weaken Pokemon in battle. You just kind of give them berries and choose the right ball and flick your controller around. This them. is for every. This isn't just for the Go Park. This is all battles. Correct. All, all, all wild encounters. Yeah. Trainer battles. You're still doing the turn-based combat that you know and love. Right. So I caught a Meltan. Okay. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, God, I'm, I'm sorry to be a negative Nancy. <laughs> I love Pokemon a lot. Negative. Am I? Should I just get over this and and enjoy this game? I should stop being pissy about yeah, it. Yeah, and I mean, also <laughs> there are some battles. I'm not going to say which ones, but uh, special Pokemon will say uh, uh, you have to battle them in order. Grass to, types. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, just grass types. Get to battle them. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, that's like the basic concept of Go Park. It kind of sucks that like once you transfer from Pokemon Go, you don't. You can't transfer you back. You don't transfer back. Yeah, which. Super sucks because I had I transferred a shiny Charizard into here just because I wanted a shiny Charizard in Pokemon Go or Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah, and now I can't get him back. Have they commented on that or said oh, they? They've said that that's the case. Uh, that's so silly. But yeah, so that that's Go Park. That's how the Pokemon Go integration works. When you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Let's Go, yeah, they do give you a mystery box, and that mystery box you can open up in uh, Pokemon Go, mm -hmm. and for 30 minutes, Meltan will spawn. So that's how you get Meltan in Pokemon Go. Okay. Uh, is by basically bribing Let's Go to give you a mystery right. box through giving them. So, and yeah. People, people at home can't see this, but Brian Shea is playing this with one hand. One it's single Joy-Con. So there are three can. control schemes you can do. There's one single Joy-Con. Uh, there are uh, there's the, the Pokeball Plus accessory. Mm -hmm. and those control essentially the same, except the Pokeball Plus has fewer uh, buttons, so you might have to go through some extra menus if you want to do some things. Hey, let's do a trainer battle. You might have to go through some extra menus if you want to do some things. Yeah, so like you can't access your Pokemon bag from your party menu because there's no Y button on Pokemon, Pokeball Plus. So you have, so you have to, to have go your through your bag. No, you, you just have to go through a, a separate menu. Oh, okay. Like it's, it, there's just some streamlining that was done that you can do with the Joy-Con that you can't do with the Pokeball Plus. Got but it. my favorite way to play is uh, the handheld mode, which is kind of weird because the handheld mode... Like, the, the whole thing about this game is Pokemon series is finally on consoles. Now and let's get it off the console. Yeah, now yeah. the best way to play it is in handheld mode, so it's... I mean, I, I still like it better than playing on 3DS because the screen on a Switch is so much better. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and your favorite thing, Experience Share, is back. Eh, you know, controversial. I get it. But, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something very important, too. HMs. No HMs. You learn secret techniques. So uh, that's like Sun and Moon, right? Kind oh. of, but you teach them all to Eevee. So it doesn't take up move space. Okay. Uh, so it's like you just go up to it and Eevee's like... Yeah, let's let's cut down this tree, or let's get on this 
bike contraption and Are fly away. Are we surfing away. on Eevee? Uh, you bring up a surfboard, or if you have a water Pokemon out of your Pokeball, you can you jump on the back of that water Pokemon. Like I can show you that uh, in sure. a second. And it's a tough thing showing off this game because like, it's Pokemon. Po it's Pokemon. No, no, no. <laughs> but in the same time, in the same time, it's like you know, can we possibly spoil something from Pokemon Yellow? Like I kind of want to see you go up against the Elite Four. Uh, we do can you do think that. Hey, viewers in this non-line video, do you want us to do that? Leave what it in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I'm feeling it. Let's see the Elite Four. They all said yes. Yes. So you, you can see right here, I use fly. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pokemon's wow. a very serious, very serious adventure. Oh, hang on. Okay. I just want to soak this music in a little bit. This is so good. Hell yeah. It is pretty good. I Yeah. Pokemon has one of the best soundtracks, contrary to what Andrew Reiner may think. Yeah, he's just getting attention. That's fine. <laughs> the biggest contribution this game will make to my life is probably the remastered OST. Yeah, that's probably true. And it's, it helps that the game's com uh, directed by the series composer. Yeah. As well, in theory, his Masuda. last time directing. So. That's what he said. It could be his last time directing a Pokemon game. Oh. That's odd. I hope that's not true. I hope so as well. I uh, Pokemon games are pretty easy, especially with the experience share these days. But still, every Pokemon game I play where I go up against the Elite Four, I shit myself. They are, <laughs> they're, they're still, still a tough. They're fear. still tough. Yeah. Um, this game is one of the easier Pokemon games I've played. Maybe the easiest uh, mainline game. Eeviest. I restrained myself from making that joke, Anson. I'd Thank ask you. you to do the same. Okay. You got it, man. So, uh, but yeah, it, it, this you can actually make this easier by having co-op, like drop-in co-op. Huh. Uh, all you do is you take that second Joy-Con that's just kind of sitting on the chair and shake it, and a Pokemon or another trainer will drop in. Okay. Anytime, like you'll see, you can't do it right now, but you'll see in the lower right corner here in a second, like a green uh, circle is going to show up, and that means you can drop in co-op. Yeah. Uh, and that just makes it easier overall. Let's give it a shake right now if it, if it works. People are. It, uh, it's not on. All right, so let's <laughs> give it a shake right now. The support trainer came running from somewhere to this help. This is me? Yeah, there you go. And so you where's the Pokemon coming from? Uh, well, it was another trainer showed up. I know, but these, you don't get to choose. That's my, it's my Pokemon. Oh, okay. I'm going to change to Zapdos because Lorelei may be an ice trainer, but most of her Pokemon are... So you, this is you now. Thank you. Is there any incentive for you to not play co-op with yourself since you have two <laughs> hands? I don't think so. Uh, but Very unique for a game. Hmm. So here we go with Zapdos. We're going to light this dugong up. Yeah, that, that's a great idea to use a fire attack on a water Pokemon. But hey, you do you, buddy. <laughs> especially when Gyarados has Thunderbolt. But, you know, hey, to each their own. To each their own, I didn't ben come Hansen. to the land of Kanto to get crapped all over by you. So I'm trying to have a good magical time here. <laughs> you can scald it instead. We're trying to prove how easy it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is very cute. I kind of... um. I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering in this non-live video if the chat wants us to check out some iconic locations from uh, Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, wait, do. wait, what's that? Comments below. I'm feeling you. Come through the microphone check right now. Some iconic locations. <laughs> well, hell, let's check out some iconic locations. All right. All right. On to adventure, Brian Shea. Yeah. So we are in Cinnabar Island, but that's not Brought where to we're. Brought you by Cinnabar. <laughs> that's where we're not. We're not wanting to go there. Whoa. Oh, this is how Eevee surfs. Oh, they do have surfing Pikachu and Eevee then. That's very cute. Pretty cute. Got funky or if, Kong in here. if we yeah. want, we can also do a little bit of this. Excuse me? Change name. Oh, oh. blew it. You can just change their names whenever yeah, you want? There we go. That's cool, man. That is a hell of a totem pole you got there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's took a tick pole. But yeah, so we are swimming north here. But Seeing trainers act like this in HD is a little weird, maybe. Yes. I bought it more in the Game Boy. That's what I worry about playing this game, Leo, if I could just talk to you and not shave for a little bit. Like, yeah. I worry about that sensation of, like, I love Pokemon, but then playing this game, realizing, like, oh, it turns out when you put a microscope on that gameplay and make it look good, like, maybe maybe it's not going to hold I'll up as well. I'll tell you what was, like, the biggest shock for me was when you go to talk to Bill... Yeah, because you don't—they don't really ever specify he's a Pokemon or what Pokemon he is, but they—they yeah. they do have like which Pokemon he is in this one. And he's like fused, and it's just like this horrific thing, like monster. No, he's just a talking version of that Pokemon. So here we are in Pallet Town, scenic Pallet Town. Go to, go to Mama's house. Your adventure begins. Is your mom old? No. 
She look like crap. <gasps> oh, she's hot. Quite on the contrary, right. Leo Vader. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Is and, there how, a... and when did you say this comes out? <laughs> <laughs> it's out right now. Ooh, Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have the switch upstairs then? You may be surprised to find out that they do. Yeah, yeah. good job. Yeah. Doing it, Pokemon. And it, do you have a Pikachu up here? If you have Pikachu? I don't <gasps> know. I'm assuming. Oh, and I love they have the intro. Yeah, oh, they do. I, oh, they have like the sprite on the calendar. You know what? I've completely turned around on this game. <laughs> this seems lovely. It's almost like Masuda has worked on these games for a long time and remembers things. It's almost like they understand that people are nostalgic for Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> like the core tenant of the entire thing. How would you make the run up to uh, up to the big city up there? Yeah. The big Viridian City. I get those, talk we'll to also the get to see the, some wild Pokemon running around here. Yeah. I want to talk to the old man who teaches you how hey, to catch Pokemon. Hey, uh, Leo. We're trying to talk out here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that old man is not in the game. Okay. Can you press eject, or how do we get this? <laughs> yeah, I'll just, uh, just try and rip hey, the switch in half. Can we get this away from me real quick? Um, so, yeah, I have... Wait, can I be honest? Uh, honestly, Shay? What? Don't care for this team. No? It's it's just... It's vanilla good team. You need some, yeah. a team with, like, some panache, some... Wild so, cards. Yes. Like, you got to have someone like a Mr. Mime in there or a Tangle. Fine. You got to have some freaks of the party. Fine. Yeah. So here, let's open my Pokemon box. Oh, you can just do this whenever? Yeah. That's that's another one of the modern streamlines. Let's get Mew. I guess PCs are over 4G these days. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Who do you want? Give me a person <laughs> you want or a Pokemon you want. Okay. If we're choosing Freak Show, Jinx is Freak Show. What about Alolan Diglett? Ah, uh, that's, no, too new. All right. Oh. Hitmon Lee. All right. This is my choice. Now, Leo, you get to choice. choose your next one. Okay. Well, Hit. the racist one's taken, so I don't know what I'm going to Yeah. Choose. Get rid of get rid of Charizard. Get out of here, buddy. All right. Yeah. What's the second most racist one for Leo to choose? <laughs> hmm. All right, Leo. Geodude. Geodude. That's fine. I That's like it because Geodude. you have a, you have a Graveler. One. Oh. Oh. What about Porygon? That was just ugly Geodude <laughs> variation. Leo, Porygon's a pretty good choice. Porygon, I love him. Okay. <laughs> Pori. Let's get rid of Blastoise then. Great. Absolutely. All right, that's all. You guys. I wanted Kabuto in there, but that's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. Let's take that's him out of his it. Pokeball. Oh, cool. What? Ah! He's huge. <laughs> oh, I love that. HD graphics, oh, my butt. And he can find things. God, do you think when they were like modeling Pokemon for the first time in N64 when they got to Porygon, they're like, oh, thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> One that'll actually look accurate. Let's just hope everybody loves this character and he's the main character now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Porygon. <laughs> see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Description. <laughs> Ugh, oh. That noise is so awful. I love they still have the old cries in here, which is something it that... It feels so out of place yeah, now that like why? everything else is why like modernized. Oh, else? look how awful this is. Do you know what it is, Leo? Look what, how awful what? this is. It's because, oh yeah, that's it's like you're being chased by your <laughs> racist father. Um, Check out my funny character. <laughs> <laughs> We'd prefer not, sir. Um, that was Viridian City, everyone. I love it. They have the old cries in there because uh, Masuda, he created them. And so now that he's directing it, that's like, his voice. He's so important that, like, I think that's just a little keepsake for him that he wants to keep that around. Okay, I'm sure everyone playing will know that. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say we uh, do one last thing here? Okay. I liked in the in the switch case they have the world map from Kanto, not the world, but region map. But it's like really detailed and artistic. Like I love the yeah, version. Yeah, like the reverse of the. Yeah, the reverse the reverse cover. It looks really sweet. <laughs> it is weird that only Pikachu and Eevee make like not like Game Boy sounding cries. Yeah, that is weird. They've they've evolved. So what do you say we go try to find Mewtwo? That, ah. that sounds okay. That trainer over there was just like thinking of Jinx or what is that? So we can go and challenge that. That's a master trainer that shows up after you beat the game. There are okay. master trainers for every Pokemon out there and they have a really high level, high stat version of that Pokemon and you have to face them and like they're they're tough. I went to the Eevee one thinking like, oh, you know, Eevee's my strongest Pokemon because he's mm -hmm. been around since the beginning. Uh, I'll take him out. And it was like level 75. And I'm like, good Lord. Hang on. But didn't you also tell me on the podcast, Game Informer Show, you can subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast, that you said you hadn't died in this game. I hadn't. But those guys are tough. I, right. But you beat them. Not that one. <gasps> so you did die. I ran. 
I said throughout the entire Look story. Look at this coward. Wow. I th- After all I said, that worming. I said I didn't... I mean, we can watch me get I, killed no, here. We're, we're fine. I'd rather go see some else. Oh, I have to have Jinx in the top left. Of course. Mm. Running away from your challenges, Shay. That's shocking. <laughs> That's not how... They... Well, hey, it was a level 54 Eevee against a 75. Mm-hmm. What else you got for excuses? Level's just a number, Shay. I know. Exactly. What's, the, how, what's your... Uh, Credit score. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're going to try to find Mewtwo. The idea of surfing in a cave is very dumb. I don't think it, you could achieve it. Oh, you could. Okay, then. Yeah. Proved you wrong. <laughs> why, why are we all ready to kill each other? <laughs> we're playing Pokemon. <laughs> That's right. You love this game, this year. You're I do. Five, eight point five. It's still fun. Like, I, like I still love like the Kanto region, and I yeah. think that it's it, like I, I look back on it with a lot of nostalgia. But I also think that like they've modernized a lot of elements in great ways. Even if I don't like the wild encounters, and I don't like, well, I don't. I like the wild encounters. I like not having to battle them to weaken them because I think it's a great streamlining. But I okay. also uh, I don't like the motion controls. But that's where uh, handheld works out. Yeah, that's where handheld works out, and I wish they had Safari mode. But uh, you know, other than that, it's a it's a really great remake of uh, the yellow. Like I mean, it's red, blue, and yellow, but specifically yeah. yellow. And to be clear, is this the mainline Pokemon game they were talking about? When, it is in, not like, the Switch's announcement. There is a, uh, a one that is scheduled to come out next year sometime. Hmm. In theory. In theory, but uh, we'll see where that lands because it. Seems like that might be way off. Ways off. Whoa. God, when they pop up, that's really jarring. It is, but it's kind of cool. Like it, it, it's nice to not have the random encounters. Like right now, I don't want to be bogged down with a million rare Pokemon or a lot, uh, wild Pokemon because I am trying to get somewhere. What's yeah. Eevee doing? Eevee's on my head. No, on the bo- lower left. Oh, I can shake it. Oh, God. <laughs> Oof. Lick a tongue. Always where you don't want them. Eevee's not happy. <gasps> because... Oh scary. My God. So what I can do is partner play. Always recommended. So he likes his little mane rubbed, but not a big fan of the head. Well, maybe he is. Wait, really? It wasn't they really thing. care where you rub him? Yeah, so he likes the tail and the... There we go, and I can give him a little treat. Hmm. This is all touchscreen control if you're in handheld. We are not in handheld. We are playing on a single Joy-Con. Yeah. So very, it, very Pokemon Go with those berries in there. But. Yeah. And secret techniques is what they call the HM replacing moves. Yeah. Plus, Do you have any secret techniques for partner play, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, not safe This guy work. does. <laughs> Come on. Let's everybody. get out of here. Come let's, on. uh, so let's go get obliterated by Mewtwo. You can see my first death. That sounds good. Yeah, let's get it on film. Because there is no chance I'm beating it. What is Jinx doing? And if she gets distracted, you just leave her behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you get into too tight of a spot, they just kind of phase in and out of existence. And is she gone for good, please? <laughs> <laughs> like a race from the Pokedex? <laughs> All right. Jinx versus Mewtwo. Here we go. The matchup of the century. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot I had all those crappy Pokemon now. Crappy? <laughs> Sir. I have... Oh, oh God. my God. Do you like it that Mewtwo doesn't talk? Yeah. I hated that in the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. I, th- I liked his voice. Mewtwo. So not only is it a higher level Mewtwo, but its stats are like way, way up there. Hmm. And you have five minutes to beat it. So this is oh. my... Oh, oh, I should have used Dark instead of Psychic. Are yeah. there lots of fights like that, or is this the only one that's timed? Uh, all the special ones. So see, like because okay, I have a good gotcha. relationship with Eevee, he toughed out the, the thing that would have one-shotted him. Yeah. So I wouldn't be sad. Isn't that considerate? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, so I used the wrong move there. Not very effective. That's fine. You're, you're toying with Mewtwo. I'm Look, toying with Mewtwo. Mewtwo's so smart. Playing with my food before I get killed by it. You have to zig where Mewtwo expects you to zag, you know? Yeah, so the stat boost and the fact that he's high level makes this a pretty tough challenge. And the stat boost, that's because you fought him before? No, it just, it, it he boosts his stats before the encounter. Because, okay. just to make it a, a bigger challenge. Gotcha. It seems cute. And uh, what's, what's the status on Mew in this game? Uh, you have to get him from the uh, the Pokeball Plus peripheral. So that's how you get him. Uh, Excuse me? Yeah, there's a little like Pokeball-shaped controller that we talked about earlier. Uh, you can transfer Pokemon to there and walk them around, kind of like the Poke Walkers. Uh, okay. And you like they they gain experience that way. So you just have to have this ball in your pocket? 
No, you can, well, yeah, if you want to walk them, but to get Mew, you just have to connect it to the thing, and each Pokeball comes with a Mew, and you can transfer it out of there. So it's basically a borderline toys to life. Yeah, to, right. but I mean, there is other functionality for it, and yeah. I'm, Does the Pokeball controller work in other games? I have not tried that, but I doubt it, uh, because it kind of has to connect via that menu. Oh, God. Porygon oh, right. and Jinx. Save, just... end, with, end with Jinx, please. So okay. Save, save the, the best end. for yeah. last. Yeah, absolutely. But I did poison Mewtwo, so who knows? Maybe I can tough it out enough that no, no chance. No I know, chance. actually. I know the answer to that question. <laughs> Conversion. Yeah. It's How not going to matter. Cause... Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Every boy. single time I try anything, he's so much faster and stronger that I'm just getting wiped out before I can do anything. Yeah. But man, that poison. Oh! That actually did a number on this sucker. Yeah. He's never been poisoned in this cave. He's just been feasting on lick of tongues and <laughs> surfing yeah. in his free time. <laughs> God, it just seemed the size it really throws me off. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is this cannon? Is that just really that big? Yeah, I mean, he's a giant thunderbird. I would have thought he was bigger. Really? Gosh, I guess it's kind of cool to see him like standing next to the trainers, though. Like, I really like. Like, it's almost like this is. I remember playing Pokemon Stadium for the first time and yes. being like, "Oh my god!" If like a real Pokemon game could look right. like this, I would pee my pants all and over. And that's the, place. the frustrating thing about this game is it's close, but I just worry about this Pokemon Go stuff watering it down to the point that I don't like it. Hmm. But it, it that doesn't. It's not oh, going to happen. Oh, he's recovering. Oh. I thought I had a chance there. I was getting excited that I was finally going to. Take him down. I want you to know the oh. viewers and Leo and myself are all on Mewtwo's side here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. I actually controlled him to do that back here. <laughs> YouTube comments are oh, fueling man. his hate. <laughs> oh, my God. So I might, actually, because... Let's see. If we don't get to see He's recover what? again. That's awesome. Go this buddy. is why... This is another problem is I only have a minute 40 left. Right. There's no chance. Well, we'll see. I have a dark move, which is super effective, but boy, oh boy, is this not looking good. Oh! Is he just hurt, getting hurt more and more by the poison? It seems that way, uh, it? Yeah, he used toxic, so it's badly poisoned, so the poison actually increases over time. Okay. Oh, it's man. really he's, fun that he keeps using recover. He's really eating up the clock. <laughs> he's, a, he's a buzzer beater. <laughs> is that what they call it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Take out... Garrett is. I want him to slide down his back oh, like the opening of the Flintstones guys, and just knock him out. Guys, could it be? You're telling me we don't get to see Jinx? What if... What if I beat him? As uh, Jinx? Maybe not. Is maybe the, Gyarados will do it. Mewtwo seems to have given up uh, oh. attacking, so he probably won't see it. Yeah, what is Mewtwo doing? Come on. Yeah! Oh! oh! Oh, a miracle has happened here. I'm willing to claim that uh, this game might just be for little baby boys and girls, and Shay so, might not actually be the best player in the world. We right. also might get a good demonstration of Pokeball. why. Why what? Why the motion controls are not great? Because I can, I usually cannot hit any Pokemon that's off to the side. Yeah, I tried to throw <laughs> right, and it just went left. <laughs> what? This is the worst part about the game is the motion controls. And they, like, jump around a little bit? They jump around a little bit, which is fine in handheld because you're just <laughs> using it, like, Breath of the Wild style where you're, like, aiming with the gyroscope. Yeah. I'm glad we've been saying the worst part about the game is the motion controls for 10 straight years. And it's still <laughs> I'm going to use the Master Ball, which I'm extremely nervous that I'm going to miss this throw. And I only... Oh, no. No way. Because if I missed it, like, that's the only Master Ball... You! <laughs> okay, you can't miss him. What? Did you just slap his <laughs> what hand? What is happening? Yeah, for the record, I just uh -huh. slapped his hand. Yeah, Hanson <laughs> grabbed the Joy-Con and... Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you can't miss, but I don't know where my Joy-Con went, so I guess that's the end of new gameplay today, ladies and gentlemen. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for showing up this game, Brian. That was my yeah. personal Joy-Con, so I hope it's not like in a vent somewhere. I don't think it is. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Leo, what is the deal with new gameplay today? Wow, we got new episodes every week, sometimes many. And you can find it on youtube.com slash Game Informer by subscribing. Yeah. You'll get it right in your inbox. We've got something coming up on Monday that Nintendo fans might get a kick on. If you like Pokemon music, you might want to stick around for Monday's new gameplay today. Maybe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.